All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was not even planning on doing this. Um, I was intending on driving food delivery here in Pittsburgh. Hi, my name is Mike, by the way. I help you make money in different side hustles. Oh, <laughs> get that out of the way. Welcome. I uh, was intending to do food delivery, kind of slow, sitting around. It's raining a bit, but I was looking at different apps, like niches specifically. Let me click start trip because I just got this bomb order, $32.00 and 36 cents for one drop off for 7.2 miles it's at this walmart so i gotta get going and get down there firstly it takes me a while to get down to the walmarts but uh why do you think it paid so much i was just looking at different apps and this is why you need to be activated on different apps just so you have different options if one's slow look how many options i had i had what like three different options of crazy good either one or two drop requests for 30 plus dollars yeah three options that all paid 30 plus dollars now i mean if you want to take more time there's some longer drops if you want to do like a 10 or 11 drop assignment but the pay is exceptional so again why number one obviously the tips so the tip is included when you get the order request and you'll see that on this screen you can see the breakdown after accepting from the customer. I would say also like a lot of these apps, the customer can lower, unfortunately, they can adjust the tip. For Spark, it is 24 hours, I believe, after the delivery. I'll put a graphic down below just to clarify. But they can also add to the post-delivery tip if they'd like. So number one, tips on Spark goes into your pay. Number two, extra effort. So I can see this when getting the request, I believe. But I saw this after accepting, certainly, that there's a lot of items on this one. This is an XL delivery. If I remember correctly, the first delivery I ever did on Spark was an XL delivery, which is just like it sounds like, it's a lot of stuff. Doesn't necessarily mean it's like big stuff, but it's a lot of stuff. So it is a grocery run. It's just gonna be more bags of groceries. Now keep in mind, it could be sodas, it could be you know packs of water, so consider that as well. And as a delivery driver, you're gonna, of course, deliver to the apartments, the home. I've been getting a lot of homes more than anything, knock on wood. <sighs> what I'm gonna call the red flag moment, driving for Walmart Spark. So I got here, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, including the W plus van, all the parking spots are full. All of the pickup spots are full. And actually there was a car waiting next to me when I got here. There's a car that pulled in beside me, he left. There's a car that just pulled in to my left. There's a guy that apparently is trying to cut me in front of me. We're gonna have to deal with that. I have never seen this where all of the pickup spots are full. It's a combination, it's gotta be of spark drivers and then just personal order pickups. This is wild. All right, so dude that just cut me uh, got a spot, but immediately someone else was backing out. My goodness, how do you see a car, multiple cars waiting, and he cut in front of all the cars and got like behind someone and just happenstance that person got their delivery. That's wild to do that to somebody. Don't do that, folks. So I got the timer rolling. Oh, I'm expecting a 20 minute wait. This is something that I recently commented on on my last video, on my last Spark video. So isn't it crazy that it's continuing to happen? What is that? Well, Problem number one, it's a commuting miles down to this Walmart. I'm not really including that because you get that. It's me that's further away from this Walmart, okay? And that's going to vary for you. But the thing that might affect anybody is the wait time at these Walmarts. And this is case in point here. So I'm betting this is going to be the longest wait. Timer's rolling. Place your bets down below. Look, look at what I do for you. Can you drop a like as well? <laughs> a sympathy like? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here, but uh, place your bets down below. 15 minute wait. Is it already ready? Because I'm on Spark and maybe these are other orders. Is it going to be 20 minutes? I don't know. Place your bets down below. So like quote unquote checked in, which means an associate just came over to verify my pickup. I don't know if they do that for just Spark drivers or just personal pickups, but that's basically always happens when I come here for a pickup. Any guesses? By the way, on the... Uh, <laughs> On the wait time counter, any guesses? What do you think? So we are just coming up on 20 minutes. 
20 minutes plus probably five minutes waiting before the timer. So mm -mm. I told you in that last video, spark is going down my tier. I hate to say it because I think with everything else, the platform works. I love the UI. It's very easy to understand. There seems to be a good amount of orders, at least here in Pittsburgh, you know, at least for me, comment down below. But this wait time, it's killing them. You can't have this. And I, I, I worked for Walmart in between semesters at Penn State. I know what it's like. But, you know, logistics is tough. And if they can't get a hang on this logistics with Spark and personal orders, it's going to hurt the Spark platform. And time at, <laughs> guess, you want to guess again? After we finally got the goods, 36 minute wait. What I would like to see is as soon as you swipe arrive and it's geotagged to the actual radius of the store, once you're actually in that radius, you stay in that radius and you swipe arrive, there should be some kind of a wait time reimbursement like a payment for wait times after 10 minutes if you have to wait longer than 10 minutes there should be a per minute pay because that's going to encourage the store to like keep in their metrics to run a tight ship because i don't know if it comes out to, uh, of the store's budget or whatever it's another metric for spark to measure their stores it's going to reimburse drivers something so they don't cancel because if drivers will cancel continually then it's gonna turn them off to the Spark platform. They're not getting any money to wait there and people are gonna quit. People are gonna quit the platform and during that actual shift for that order, like if I canceled, then Spark has to find another driver. And yes, maybe there's some drivers around, but what if there's not? Then it could delay things even further. If it's like a 15 minute wait, but I dipped after 10 minutes, they gotta find another driver and drive down here to the location. So let me know what you think about those ideas, but get this, I still have the delivery to make. And that delivery is 15 minutes, 6.5 miles, which is fine. The miles are fine for 30 plus dollars. It's like insane, it's really good. But 15 minutes on top of 40 minutes, on top of, well for me, the 25 minutes that I took to get down here. But again, that's gonna vary. But I get to the apartment complex and uh, it said like apartment 500 something. So I'm thinking, is it gonna be a walk up delivery with all this? I had two 32 counts of water and one big cube of ginger ale. So I'm thinking like, I'm gonna carry all these bags, the water and the ginger ale. So I get there and the customer is standing outside and She's done this before. She has one of those like wheeled kind of, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. A wheeled carrier or something with that handle, right? So that's good. So we have tons of bags. So we're loading the bags in this little wheeled thing. And you know, I load up with some bags as well. And she says, there's a main entrance with like a walkway front door, but she's like, oh, let's go on the other side of the building to the grass down this little hill. So we did that and I'm carrying the stuff behind her. And, you know, it's wet because of the rain. So, you know, just be careful there with this loaded up wagon. Wagon, that's what it is. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, we make trip number one, unload the stuff basically on her back patio, which was on the, she was on the um, ground floor. So I'll take it. Back trip number two, loaded up the wagon again, and then brought it down to the back. Do make sure, get the customer signature. It's going to give you prompts what to do with the delivery. I almost forgot that. I had to like spin back around. Like, oh yeah, give me the uh, customer signature. But takeaway for not quite listen to this <laughs> oh, for not quite two hours of work from the request drive down there wait 40 minutes drive 15 minutes and then unload for eh, eight minutes or so like an hour and 45 i'll say like an hour 45 for one drop off that is wild no app you should have an hour 45 minute drop no app I mean, I did 17 miles of driving from the ping down there to Walmart to make the delivery. It's only 17 miles and I got 30 plus dollars. Now the tip's pending. It's not going to immediately show that, but you know, I feel like I'm going to get the full tip. There's no reason not to. Man, but the dollars to mile makes sense, but the dollars to time ratio, how much am I getting paid? And how long is this thing going to take? This is happening too many times where the wait time at the Walmart is just crushing me. So comment down below. I need to know, am I the only one with the long wait times? I don't think so. I'll be looking for your comments. And then the main takeaway, by the way, subscribe. You're going to want to, because I cover most every app and niche out there. Is it going to get better? 
Is it gonna stay like basically awful, we'll call it? I hope it gets better, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Do me a favor, again, drop a like, click or tap the screen now for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you, and I'll see you in the next one.